Hello and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So I'm on a long boring motorway drive and I thought while I'm doing that I'll cover a rather boring topic which is um, a question I get from a lot of customers very often which is about kilowatt hours, kilowatts, how much will it cost to charge my vehicle? How long will it take to charge my vehicle? Um, and everything related to that. Um, so it's a bit techy, but I'm, my video is not aimed at technical people. It's aimed at, um, you know, people who, they don't want to know all the details of the subject. They want to just get a rough idea of how it all works. On that subject, if you don't want to know all the details of how it works, and you just want to calculate the charging time and charging cost to your vehicle, Skip to about 9 minutes 15 of this video and we'll introduce you to a tool on our website that you can use to do these calculations. So I hope you find it useful. So we're all used to working in miles per gallon or uh, kilometers per litre or you know I think most people in the UK use miles per gallon in electric vehicle terms a charger comes with a kilowatt rating that's kilowatt small k big W your EV's battery is sized in kilowatt hours now they are related and we can cover that in a minute your electricity is also sold to you in kilowatt hours so in your electricity statement, you'll see a unit price of electric. It'll be something like 15 pence, 11 pence, could be a little bit more, could be a bit less. That is per kilowatt hour. So a kilowatt hour, very simply, is using one kilowatt of electric for an hour. That's how the units work. And that's how it's sold to you. So, if you pay 15 pence per kilowatt hour and you put an electric heater on that uses two kilowatts of electric and you run it for an hour, it'll cost you 30 pence. Maths is quite simple. It starts getting a little bit more complicated as the numbers get bigger, but just bear in mind it's all based on these simple principles. Electric vehicles, their battery sizes are also given in kilowatt hours. So that's quite handy. Um, so if you know your electricity price is 15 pence per kilowatt hour, or 15 pence per unit, and your car, battery, for example, uh, take something like uh, the MG ZS EV, that has a battery size of 44 kilowatt hours. So, to work out how much it would be to charge up from zero to 100%, all you do is take that 44 kilowatt hours and times it by your unit price. 44 times 15 pence is put it into my calculator. I haven't really got a calculator. So that is £6.60. All you do is factor in your battery size and your electricity cost per unit and you get how much it is to charge your EV up full. Now in reality, remember, you'll never run it down to zero. So, um, you know, you, you can work out your average price doing that. Incidentally, all the chargers that we sell come with an app where it will automatically calculate how much you're spending on electricity uh, for your EV. So um, that's worth bearing in mind because that's very, it makes it a lot easier then to track how much you're actually putting into your vehicle versus your electricity bill. So you know how much your house electric is costing you and how much your EV is costing you. Because you have to remember when you buy an electric vehicle uh, for the first time, you're actually taking your petrol bill, shrinking it down and putting it in with your electricity bill. So that pot of money, if you want to differentiate how much you're spending on travel, 
and how much you're spending on electric for your house, you need to have an electric vehicle charger the way you can monitor those costs. All the electric vehicle chargers that we sell have a, at least some kind of smart option uh, where you can track the cost of your, um, of your charging. Um, and as long as you put your correct electricity price in that, it'll track your electricity car charging cost. So, slight digression there. So that's how to work out how much it'll cost to charge up your vehicle. Now, how long will it take? Most home chargers work at seven kilowatts. So, one of the things you have to bear in mind is it's very difficult to work out the exact charging time because the vehicle will charge a lot slower in the last five, ten percent of its charging time. And if you if you're running below, sort of, it varies on vehicles, but running below ten or twenty percent, it will actually charge slower there. So, how long will it take to charge a vehicle up? So, firstly you need to know how much electric you're putting in. So I'm going to assume, uh, for argument's sake or ease of calculation, you've got an MG ZSEV, 44 kilowatt hours. You only want to put 50% in. That's all that's really important to you on a daily basis. How long will it charge to put that 50% in? Well, 50% of the 44 kilowatt hours is 22 kilowatt hours. So that 50%, 22 kilowatt hours. If you have a, a home charger which is 7 kilowatts, that will put in 7 kilowatt hours in one hour. I told you this was a boring subject. So, you take your 22 kilowatt hours, divide by your 7 kilowatts, and that gives you just over 3 hours. So, to charge your electric vehicle, 50%, so let's say you want 80%, you're all, you've run it down to 30%, you want to charge it to 80%, that gives you your 50%, that will take you just over three hours. So again, it's not a difficult calculation, you just have to factor in the fact that it does slow down above that range and realistically you you want an electric vehicle where on a daily basis you're only using it between that 20 and 80 percent range anyway there's no harm in leaving it on and charging it to 100 percent if that's what your ev does uh, the teslas for example you can dial that back but you want to you don't want to be reliant on that last 20 percent all the time three hours is quite if you think about it it's quite feasible for you to use that and charge it up to 80% regularly in that three hour slot. And it's just not gonna be a problem. So it works exactly the same with rapid chargers, but again, the rapid chargers are a bit more extreme in how much they speed up and slow down. So 22 kilowatt hours, which is 50% of your battery size, divided by the 50 kilowatts that the charger would charge at gives you less than half an hour. So these are quite simple. It's, a, it's, it's quite a simple calculation to do, but it's just getting the unit straight in your head and knowing which way around to do it. You can always come back to this video and refer, refer to it if, uh, if you want to do some calculations. I might try and include um, some kind of calculator on the internet. So I'll just stop you there, Lee, because we've actually included a calculator on our website now, which is a useful tool for people to use when you want to calculate the charging cost or charging time of your vehicle. So first of all, go to morzac.co.uk. Click on the home page and select the calculator tool. Just make sure you read through the notes and understand what the tool is doing and what it's not doing for you before you get into putting in the data. So after that, you can scroll down to the tool, input the battery size of your vehicle. If you don't have a vehicle and you're looking at one, 
you can check out a website like the EV database. This gives you battery sizes for different vehicles. Then select the option for the percentage charge you'd like to calculate the cost and time for. Input your electricity cost per kilowatt hour or per unit. This can be found on your electricity bill. And then select the charger you'll be using. So if it's a home charger, it'll be 3.6 kilowatt or 7 kilowatt. If it's a workplace charger, it could be up to 22 kilowatt. And if it's a rapid charger, select one of the rapid options. Then in the outputs below, you get a cost and a time for charging your vehicle. And it's that simple. Um, and if you're new to electric vehicles and nervous about how long things take to charge, I think a bit of, you know, really thinking about how you use your vehicle and, um, you know, planning your journeys and, you know, thinking about instead of going to a petrol station, you're just leaving it at home on charge. You probably find that you will be, it'll actually be more convenient than you realise and it'd be less of a worry than you realise. Um, most people who move to electric vehicles that we know and we've spoke to, they don't want to go back um, because it's more convenient than a petrol vehicle and it's it's more pleasurable, the vehicles themselves are great and it's the future. Great news on the announcement that petrol and diesel vehicles will be banned from 2030. This might be old news by the time you're watching the video, but that's it's great news and hopefully it will spur on all the infrastructure that needs to be in place. If you want information on electric vehicle charging, leave us a comment. Um, and if you're interested in our services, electric vehicle charge point installation, uh, contact us through any of our social media channels. Hopefully this video was useful. Give us a cheeky thumbs up on the like button below. If you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications of our future videos on charge points, related technologies. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching.